Hello, folks. I was uh, in the middle of playing between episodes here, and uh, this guy, Kresvold, decided that there's an emergency in the village, and Heradic is gathering all the villagers in his tavern. But I'm not a villager. There are vampires in the village, Keeper, and we expect the first fatalities are just around the corner. Oh my gosh. Heradic has requested a specialist in the dead. Now go. We're late. Remember, it's your fault. Everybody seems to be arguing. Rose, thank you. We all feel your pain. We all know you're suffering. That was the third and final of the vampire's victims for today. But any of us could be next to meet him. Chain, the farmer's son, Rose. Uh, Chain, the farmer's son, and Rose. It's only just the beginning. Villagers, I await your suggestions. Not all at once now, please. Corey, your suggestion first. My suggestion? Ah, yes, of course. People, hear my words. One week only, Corey and brother will be available to fix your porch. For a 15% discount, and as a free gift, you'll get a special wooden platypus from Tress. No, oh, that's my favorite toy. Business is business, brother. Okay, Adam, let's hear your suggestion. My suggestion is to assign two bodyguards to each villager. A week ago, a band of ghouls wrote some offensive slander on my wall. Adam, it was the village teenagers. I even helped them a bit with the grammar. Besides, schools don't exist. Oh dear. Lager, your suggestion? My suggestion is for everyone to stop eating dead animals. It's only natural that you'd end up seeing vampires and other nonsense. Fresh roots and braised leaves, the secrets to a healthy body and spirit. What? To turn down candied chicken like marmalade? Never. Beekeeper, please don't spit on the floor. Is there something you'd like to add? Yes, there is. You people, are you crazy? You're all full of rubbish. It's all becoming clear. The vile doings of my sworn enemy, Hornet Man. But fear not, my army of carnivorous bees is nearly ready. Soon, very soon, I will release them upon the village. That would be most kind of you, beekeeper. Are there any other suggestions? Great, the meeting is adjourned. You're all free to go. Vampires in the village. Keeper, could you spare a moment? I mean, I guess. Listen, might I ask you to look into all that stuff? It's pretty unexpected, but I appreciate that you confide in me. Frankly speaking, I wouldn't exactly say that I confide in you. But if I asked some villager, I'd have to give them a huge tax write-off in addition to their reward. So it only makes sense to ask someone outside the village, wouldn't you say? Mm, yep, absolutely. On the other hand, you're such a kind and understanding guy. Perhaps you'd agree to help us. For free? Uh, I'll think about it. We'll talk later. I'm too busy to deal with this. Or I'll, uh, I'll agree to help for the fee. Uh, I'll think about it. Uh, I mean, it's like no, or postpone, or I agree for the fee. Okay, I agree for the fee. I'd hope for a little compassion in the time of our misfortune, but very well. What a greedy rascal. Very well. Let's go home and think a bit. That was our thoughts, apparently. Find the vampire. Do we have anything we can trade you? Some parrot cutlets? Not all of them. Uh, for a silver and change. I mean, it might be worth just having a little bit of money, right? You get extra points when studying new items. That does appeal to me because I was in the midst of studying some items. So we'll grab that. All right, off we go. It is not yet daytime, so we can't really talk to, say, the farmer. Let's just go home. All right, queuing up more iron there. And yeah, um, I've just been trying to do some improvements around. Oh, this dude. Get out, boy. Time to pay for your crimes, you foul creature. Sure. Defend yourself. Shepard, are you talking to me? To you, you vile vampire, prepare to die in the name of my wife and all the other innocents. 
Hey, that's kind of funny. You really think I go around at night sucking people's blood? How come I'm always out in the sun working? That proves nothing. You could be a vampire mutant. There's only one way to check. Eat that. What? Raw garlic? Ah, he refuses. The fiend gives himself away. Oh, crap. Uh, uh, uh. Are you satisfied? Like my old teacher from the Order of Undead Hunters used to say. More! I hate you. However, if you are a mutant, you might be resistant to the garlic. Eureka, I know what we must do. Take this wooden stake and plunge it deep into your heart. If you die... Stop. I have a better idea. I'll find you an actual vampire, and then you can cut me a break. Hmm. And if you fail, then you can kill me, or I'll eat a whole bucket of garlic, or whatever you need. It's a deal, but don't you try to cheat me, you bearded whore. His logic is insurmountable. I guess it would make sense to talk to, sense to, talk to the victims. Chain, Farmer, Son, and Rose. Okie dokie. Well, that's all interesting. Look at all our crops. Beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and just them real quick here. Just get everything. So I've just been kind of stocking up and letting, uh, you know, our crops kind of rebuild themselves. I have bought a couple more seeds, but not much. And this one? Okay. Okay, fertilizer in. Plants, plants, plants. One thing I want to plant more of is... Oh god, we're skipping rows and everything. Is, uh, hemp. But we have to go talk to Dig for that. Get some more hemp seeds. Maybe we should do that right now. Uh, I love this teleport stone. We'll just warp over to the lighthouse. Oh, astrologers here. Do we have anything we can talk to you? Oh, I could have brought a skull. Ugh. I could have brought a skull. How long does it take for that thing to recharge? Not that long. Uh, but longer than that. Okay. Phone, be quiet. Be quiet, phone. I don't know why my phone would even go off. I don't have service right now. All right, let's get our seeds. We'll plant them. I think I only need one, but we we better I don't know, think ahead, I guess. Ding dong, bing bang bong. Dig I am. Am I? Yes, dig. Your your dig. Eight. It only costs eight, so we'll spend the silver and plant two lots of it. Maybe then we can grow a bunch. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. Hello. There we go. Sweet home. How many of these am I carrying around? Just the one. Okie dokie. Plants. You. And I'll hold on to the rest of the seeds for now. Drop these. Yeah, we're filling up here pretty fast. Get some more of these. There we go. Now, where did I put the skulls? I think they're over at the church. So that doesn't help me right now, but, you know, it will eventually. We can put some food on to cook. We could make an omelet. Fried egg. About uh, two things of baked apple. Go get a skull. And a mushroom. 
Oh, that's the other thing we need. We need oil from Dig. Gosh, I should have remembered that. Uh, over here, I think I left the skull. Yep, there we go. And use this guy again to go back to the lighthouse. Here you go, have a skull. Not terribly clean, but every bone is in its place. Seems you have a talent for anatomy. The human body is so mysterious, perhaps even more than the sun and stars. I believe one day you'll, you'll learn much about the human body and the soul, and then you can, will find yourself absolutely lost. Now, as we are partners in crime, what is it you want from me, my curious friend? I need your help. I need uh, to open the portal. Friend told me that you might know how to activate the portal on which hill. Never heard about it. Maybe not exactly never, but at least not for many years. In another life, I had a friend. By the way, he was a graveyard keeper like you, and he was mad about this portal. It's amazing how much he knew about this portal. Okay, so what about the portal? I think he found a way to activate it. Uh, it was something magical, so I don't remember. But it should be in his di diary. Just before his disappearance, he gave me this key. It opens a metal gate in the northern part of the church cellar. Somewhere in there is where he kept his most important notes. Why didn't you take these notes? Oh, I tried, but there's a secret to this key. I tried for months to figure out how it works. Maybe it's just in my mind and the key opens nothing. Anyway, you can take it. Try to learn how the key works at the study table in the church cellar. When you have his diary, bring it to me and I'll try to find some information about the portal. Okay. Uh, was his name Jerry by chance? Actually, I don't know his name. We always used to call him by his nickname, Keeper. What happened to him? He just disappeared. Hasn't been seen or heard from since. I tried to find him, but nobody knew him. Uh, I even started thinking he was just a figment of my imagination. It was a hard time for me. Okay. So, diary we don't have. I need your help. I need ink and paper. Hmm, I have some. Actually, I have a lot of useful things. Some of it may be useful for beginning scientists such as yourself. I can't stand those chumps at the university. I'd rather earn a little extra coin elsewhere. Trade. Oh, it's expensive. Uh, woo, can't wait till I can get that. Blue points. Five silver a pop. Yeah. Yeah. We're almost at tier three with him. That's cool. Uh, let's go see if we have enough money to buy a thing of oil from Dig. Doubtful, but it's worth a shot. Hello, Dig. Bing bong. Ding dong. Bing bang bong. Dig I am, am I? Uh, yeah, we can buy an oil. Just. Ah, and he will unlock another tier tomorrow. Let's use this. Let's go back uh, home. See if we can oil this card up for this guy. Send him on his way so we can get more bodies. Got some oil for your wheels. Great, finally I'll get a little peace and quiet. And I'll be able to think about my theories and ways to fight for what's right. I already have all the wharf rats on my side. Okay, we got a body. You look a little tired. Did you sleep well? Oh, sorry. I miss sleeping so much. Turns out it's hard work being a graveyard keeper. I have to do everything by myself. Hmm, I remember something. In old days, the keeper used to have a lot of helpers. They were a lot like me, but without the sense of humor. One of them should be still chained to the wall in the northern part of the church cellar. Oh, and one more thing. I don't remember why, but I'm quite sure you should never unchain him. Never. All right, we don't have anything for that guy. Autopsy. Uh, let's remove the blood. And what is going to help with that? Give me one second. All right, if we remove the fat, we should make this better. What I've read makes perfect sense. And it does, so we'll just take that body with five white skulls. Probably the best we'll have in the, the graveyard. We'll install it. And we're going to need a gravesite. 
let's just go ahead and throw you there. Berries. That'll give us a little more money. We happen to have that there. We'll install that. And graveyard's up to 21, which is pretty good. It's about to be nighttime. What I'm going to do is use this immediately. Whoops. Go to the Dead Horse Tavern. Trade this in. There we go. <clears throat> Beer, yeah, and we're gonna have to wait a moment here. Maybe we we'll gather some sticks over here while we're waiting for that to recharge, rather than walking. There we go. Use. Go home. Get some apples. So the key, yeah, we can go study things. So let's nip down here, see if Snake's hanging around. He's not. That's annoying. All right, maybe we'll just take a little sleep here because we're going to be heading to the church anyways in the morning. Ah, another body. We'll wake up and deal with that. Okay, first things first. Iron ingots don't need to carry you around. Yeah, there's a couple things I want to do. So, let's get this. And we also get a couple of those. There we go. Boy, it's really tipping down, isn't it? Wait, what? What now? No carrots, no body. No. Okay, well, hold on to it then. What do I care? All right, let's uh let's throw this on here. There we are. We're up to 3. Could remove this one for now. Throw that fence on there. Uh-huh. Maybe I should be using the apple for now. And uh, let's see. We could we could do more stone things. I think I'll just go grab some carrots. We gotta wait for the bishop anyways. He'll be on his way imminently. Right there. My gosh, I can't hardly see a thing here, man. I'll just queue up two bodies for now. There's a little bit of work I want to do in the church first. Boy, the bishop must be just stopping wet. How are you going to get around the donkey, huh? Tell me that. There we go. Take you. Dump you here, take your blood. That should give us another five white body. That, as long as we don't mess anything up. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go put you in the graveyard. Did I make uh, more headstones? I might not have. Which is a little disappointing. Here we are, working away in front of the bishop. Look, we're doing a good job, man. We're doing such a good job. We do have one headstone. And no more of those. So that's fine. Let's go in here. I want to try and make a pew or two. Church bench. One. Oh, I need uh, five more of those. 
five more of those. Oh, he's there now. Um, need that. Drop these. Maybe do a little quick science in here. Oh, he's left now. Maybe he's just there every night. Oh, we need face. Of course we need face. How about fat? We need face. How about this? We need face. We need face. There are some things that don't take face, <clears throat> but I don't really understand what they are. Well, maybe everything needs face now. Okay. <clears throat> Give me four more of those. Oh, no. No, no, no. Fine. One of those. That's actually not what I meant to do. Uh, I want four more of these. Because I'm not sure. We just don't want to waste our day. Uh, yep. Just eat those up. We got those. Let's go get another church pew in and then talk to the bishop. I'm hoping that at this point we'll be able to dig sand and clay. Uh, I don't know what's... I think it's this that's holding us back. But also, I think we're gonna maybe give a sermon? I don't know. What? I thought I had one on me. Okay. Alright. We'll just have to do without that. Make sure we have the sermon. The prayer. Whatever you call it. And so, what am I supposed to do? As you are a cleric now, you should be involved in our blessed activities. I've decided to open a soup kitchen for the poor near the cathedral. It'll help me improve my image. Apparently, when they're hungry, my good looks stand out more. So I need a lot of cheap bowls, and it seems you have clay deposits just in front of the church. Okay, clay bowls. Make some bowls for me, I'll give you a cleric's beginner's guide. It will give you your first few blue science to start with. We already have that, but that's fine. And I'll gladly buy any bread you have for the soup kitchen, for a special price, of course. I am, after all, representing his will. Thank you. This is what we needed. What do you have? Casual prayer, faith times two. Communion cookies, um, and candles. Alright. Can we, uh, can we, can we preach now? Did I, did I not, did I pick it up and then I put it away again? Oh, this is, this is so like me, isn't it? Uh, yep, I put it back in the trunk instead of the other way around. Here we go. Come on in. We got a whole six people. I'd like to say a few words. Our coffee is great. Nice. Now, let us pray for this blessing of coffee. One face. Come on, give me more. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. All right, that's good. We can, we can start with that. Great sermon. Everybody's kind of happy. And, uh, we'll get some, some money out of the deal. Cool. Very cool. 75 copper. All right. We're in with a way to make money now on the regular. So that is pretty fantastic. What are we gonna do? We have, we have to do a thing. We gotta study the keeper's key. That's important. Can we do it now? We need instructions for the key. You need to use a keeper's key within his instruction at a study table, but I need the instructions. So, that's cool. Alright, well, I'm kind of starving for blue points here, so let's use our three faith on that and see how many we get. Stone grave fence can be composted into nothing, but 
That gave us 30 blue science. Let's have a look at the tech. Uh, so we could be gentle butcher, so less chance of mistakes. Anatomy, we could double palette preparation place. No, that, that's expensive in blue. Uh, I'm more into the cheap blue things. Like light of faith is one thing. Inventing stories would be cool, but again, expensive. Books. Hmm, master gatherer. Farmer. Oh, great. Prayer for shoots and roots. Sermon money plus 25%. Faith plus 25%. Faith times one to three. Uh, and a gardening perk. Farmer. If you aren't afraid of getting your hands dirty, you can select good seeds and harvest a better crop. I'm very tempted by that because we, we have been doing a lot of that. There's also advanced smelting for the furnace too. Inborn blacksmith. Okay, this is just doesn't cost any any blue, and we're gonna go for that. Woodcutter. And recipes we have to learn or buy. So let's go. Let's go with this. Mm, grape farming. Tempting. Very tempting. I don't think we can do it yet, though, so maybe not necessary. We might need the book thing, but what is this? Prayer for donations. Combo prayer. I think combo prayer is kind of the best thing. So that's just straight up 20 blue. Uh, you know what? I think I would rather go with improvements where we get that one. We have five left. Don't think there's anything left that will only take five. Doesn't appear to be. Okay. So that's that. That's our 30 used up, and we're going to have to wait for more faith. Not bad. Not bad. Um, so yeah, things I'm going to do in between episodes. I'm not quite done yet, but I'm going to try and spruce up the inside here. I'm going to try and spruce up out here. And probably get those bowls made. Oh, I should probably drop that off. We can put that down. Should have done it before the sermon, but oh well. And, uh, you know, I'll just drop that there for now. Burial certificate we can take in. Cool. Let's get our first bit of clay. Please and thank you. Here's our first piece of clay. Might as well catch a few. We're going to need to make bowls and things. The other thing we're going to need is sand, but also I want to have a look down here and see if we're ready to start burning corpses. A uh, place for burning corpses requires eight wood billets. So, I feel like we're going to need to bring some wood billets down. There's a lot of forestry needing to be done for sure. We should have some billets ready to go. Eleven. We'll just take that. Uh, drop you, 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 and you, and you. Wonderful. We're ready, almost ready for a massive harvest again. That. And we better start this up again. So I want to get that one corpse burned that I've been saving for a long time. Goodbye, Bishop. Have a nice uh, walk home to your stinking town. Nope. Again, phone, be quiet. Apologies. Apologies. Okay, so we have actually, yeah, two rotten bodies to get rid of. I forgot, but that's fine. I'll take care of it. 
And there we are. There's our first corpse burning. So we still get the um, the burial certificates, which is nice. So we'll be able to trade them in for some money. Uh, between episodes, I'll just continue working away at uh, gathering some more wood and, and just making sure that materially we're set. Um, we got some ash and some salt. Because uh, I don't want to be spending a lot of time gathering resources in the episodes. Um, maybe I'll do an episode where it's... Uh, it's all resource gathering, so you get a taste of it. I don't, I don't think doing a lot of that is, is good for the flow, man. So, let's call it there. I didn't eat the pie before I ate that thing either. Oh well. Uh, when we're ready to do a bunch of that, uh, then we'll do that. Because maybe I can do some sermons also while we're gone. Stockpile some faith. And we'll see how that goes. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.